Hey there, Pyromaniacs! This is yet another unscripted video. It's been a while since I've made one of these, but I just had something that I needed to get off my chest. So what is that thing that I just needed, absolutely needed, to talk to you guys about? A tweet. A freaking tweet got me so riled up that I needed to make a whole YouTube video. I, I, I this is what my life has become. But yeah, a, a bit of a preface for what I'm gonna talk about. Uh, YouTuber Jake Lucky, who's a YouTuber who specifically mostly talks about like Twitch streamers and esports and stuff like that. So he tweeted out something that kind of went a little bit viral, which were a bunch of screenshots and clips of different esports and uh, Twitch streamers just kind of talking about how there are no games out there to play right now. There's nothing fun out there to play. Specifically, he also tweeted out this clip from Dr. Disrespect. It's just 15 seconds. I'll just throw it up here right now. It's just not, it's just not, it's not, th I don't know. Things just aren't thought out, man. You, you have there's yeah, nothing else to play. Right. I want to play something. I want to have fun. But I just find this so bizarre to hear because at first glance, what so many people were saying, like the, the replies and the quote tweets is, what are you talking about? There are so many games out there. Like these are the types of Twitch streamers, you know, Dr. Disrespect and Shroud and these people, they tend to mostly only play AAA games. Like Dr. Disrespect specifically pretty much only plays Warzone now. He pretty much only plays Call of Duty. So when he talks about how he just wants a game that's fun, Dude, you only play AAA games. That's why you're not finding any new games. Just go into the indie scene. Look anywhere else. Look at the indie scene. There are so many great games just waiting, begging to be played. Like just this week when I'm recording this, just in the past couple days, River City Girls 2 came out, Little Gator Game came out. And if River City Girls 2 is too anime for you and Little Gator Game is too cutesy and wholesome for you, splatter! Splatter just came out! Splatter is this insane game that's like the bastard child of Splatoon and Cruelty Squad. It's such a ridiculous game. You need to play those games, by the way. They're all great games. I highly recommend all of them. So when I hear these huge Twitch streamers talk about how there are no games to play, at first glance, it sounds absolutely absurd, because it is. But then you kind of have to take a step back and understand why they're actually saying this. They're saying this because they're not saying that there are no new games to play. They're saying that there are no new games to play on Twitch's trending tab. What they're really saying is that there aren't games that are popular enough for them to feel that they are worth playing. Because you kind of have to understand how Twitch's culture operates. There's this culture on Twitch where you need to continue to play the top trending games. There's this weird mentality where you need to play the top trending games in order to get your streams constantly visible on the front page as long as they possibly can be. Which, I guess to some degree makes sense if you're a small streamer and you're just trying to get your name out there, but when you're Dr. Freaking Disrespect? Like, Dr. Disrespect was basically the PewDiePie of Twitch before he got banned for no reason. But like, he's a very, very popular streamer. So when I hear somebody like Dr. Disrespect, someone who's like, such a popular, j just like, a, a borderline household name, he's so famous, seem to panic over there being nothing to play, it's just bizarre. I, a content creator at below 1,000 subscribers, am about to give advice to quite a few Twitch streamers that have a bigger following than I will ever see in my entire existence on this planet. Your viewers do not go on Twitch to watch you play the video game. They go on Twitch to see what your personality will bring to that video game. You are a personality. People do not care about the game that you play. If they truly care about you, then they will watch you. It's that simple. Like, you know, when you're a smaller content creator like me, you do kind of have to worry about what kind of videos you make, what's going to draw in certain numbers. But when you're the size of Dr. Disrespect or Hungrybox or any of these other content creators, you don't really have to worry about that. And here's a great example as to how that's true. Asmongold, he was, for years, the World of Warcraft streamer. He was known as the World of Warcraft streamer. He was the Blizzard guy. He, pl he played World of Warcraft. That was his thing. But at some point, players got sick and tired of Blizzard's crap. And Asmongold 
wanted to find something different because he wasn't having fun with World of Warcraft anymore. It was still bringing him money, but he wasn't having fun. So what did he do? He started playing another game. He started playing Final Fantasy XIV. World of Warcraft, for decades at that point, was seen as the MMO. But here, Asmongold suddenly changed an entire culture by just stepping away from World of Warcraft and starting to play Final Fantasy XIV. Now, when someone thinks of an MMO, they kind of instantly think of FF14. I never hear anybody talk about World of Warcraft anymore. And maybe that's just me. Maybe that's just where I am on the internet. Maybe that's where I am in social circles, but I never hear anybody talk about World of Warcraft anymore. When people are talking about MMOs, usually the conversation goes back to Final Fantasy XIV. So, if you are not having fun with a game that you're playing, but you continue to play it because that's what's popular, if you have a following like Dr. Disrespect does, you can just change what's popular. Like, not everyone has that kind of power. So it's really frustrating hearing somebody like Dr. Disrespect complain that there's nothing fun to play, when there are so many fun games that you could play. If you're not having fun with a game, play something different. Like, I can't believe this is advice that people have to give to someone in his 40s. But like, you are in a position of power that very few people have. You can just stop playing the game. You can play something different. And if the game is good and the game is fun, guess what? People are gonna follow. You don't like Call of Duty Warzone, but you want a game like Warzone? Tarkov! Holy crap, just play Tarkov! I don't know, maybe this just bothers me as someone with my size and with my weird passion for indie games. It is so, so annoying hearing people with followings that I will never, ever hope to achieve complaining that there are no games out, when that is the furthest thing from the truth. This is just a quick and dirty video that I wanted to make real quick because I have another video that I'm also working on that's way more polished than this one, and I hope you start to look forward to that one because I'm really excited about it. And in the meantime, thanks for watching. And remember to leave a like and become a pyromaniac yourself by subscribing. And also don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Punish Pyromon and listen to my podcast, the YTFA Podcast. And make sure to join our Discord as well. We have a lot of fun on there, so don't forget to check us out. Anyway, until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.